Hey guys, JH, welcome to practice tea. Okay guys, now this is a very interesting uh, video. For the first time since I've been on channel lock, I, I actually lost my, lost my swing for about five minutes. And I, I haven't done that since I've been on channel lock. And it, uh, it happened uh, yesterday afternoon. I came here after a really solid workout, really tight in the shoulders. And, and for some reason or other, what was happening, I was just getting a lot of upper body heave. And of course, because the shoulders were coming, I couldn't attack it inside and I was sort of hitting the ball, you know, second and third groove. You just couldn't couldn't get on it and almost doing that through the ball so I just basically went back like I did that for about five minutes I thought what's going on I hadn't experienced that so I went back and started to practice what I've been preaching about the protocol I thought, what's happening here okay Jace you know what your protocols are what are they and I went through them and and as I went through them I had I went through the fields that I have the feels with those particular parts of the uh, of the uh, the protocol and I actually do what I call a downswing part of the protocol too I've got a feeling in the downswing that I have a couple of points that I feel and one of the ones that I really feel is tension in my 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 lead lat here in that it basically feels like that as I'm when I'm swinging well I feel like that as I'm coming into the ball like I'm lat backing it into the ball and I didn't have that. I had what I call <laughs> yeah, a fly away lat. The lap was doing that. And by and by doing that it just it just it changed my horizontal and vertical centers of gravity, the backward and forward positioning, everything. Uh, ju just because that was happening. Now as soon as I went into to the downswing protocol analysis, I felt it. I thought, whoa, well you're not feeling that today, JH. You're not feeling that. So the whole point of this, of this um, video, guys, is, is to just reinforce how important it is to go through your protocols before you hit every shot. And more to the point, if you do lose your golf swing and you know your protocols you know, well, uh, inside out, just go back and go through them. And, and you'll know that there's a piece that's not in there if you're not hitting the ball well. You'll know that. It was quite extraordinary. I was sort of, it sort of felt like this type of thing. And the lead leg was sort of snapping a little bit. I thought, wow, why am I doing that? And then on the downswing, when I couldn't feel that, that lat pressure there and that corralling of the lat and the keeping back of the lat, I knew instantaneously what the issue was. So for me, guys, uh, in lose, and it's the first time it's happened to me. And, and I think maybe because I was just really stiff and rigid, and I probably was a little bit slack and not going through my protocol. But instantaneously, like after five minutes, well, after about 10 shots, uh, I just went back and I, and, and I didn't pick it up so much on the forward part of the, the protocol analysis, but I did on the downswing. I thought, well, you know, what am I not, oh, that's what I'm not feeling here. I'm not feeling this backing into the ball. For me guys, I really have to feel like I'm backing into the ball and my shoulders are, are really shut down, for me. And as soon as I, uh, I got that guys, it was just instantaneous. Um, now I haven't hit a shot today and I've got a couple of guys coming for, for less, so I just want to do this quickly. But I know, that, and it's very windy, I know that I can just, I'll be able to smash it now because I know exactly what went wrong. I didn't hit any shots yesterday afternoon because I had to rush off um, uh, and I wanted to think about what I was doing so but but I know now that I'll be able to just immediately uh, resurrect uh, my channel and there it is guys first shot of the day that's just perfect
And I know when it's there because my arms stay in front of my body. Arms are staying here. In front. See they're here guys, and I'm here, I'm into that lead side, and that lead hip is blocked. That's what I've got to feel in my golf swing. If I don't feel that blockage, I just get so much flap in the arms. And I, and I guess, I guess I probably lost the stability of that, of that lead uh, leg as well yesterday but instantaneously it's uh, it's come back See, they're perfect shots see how the hands are staying in front of the body now I've got shoulder block see they're here they're not running off and that's what I've got to feel. I've got to hit some shots where I feel like I'm shouldering the ball. Like the shoulder girdle is closed. That's what I've got to feel. It's perfect. And the sit down really helps me, guys. The soggy knees, little things, even I've got to keep on the protocol. The good thing is that I've got the protocol and I've got it to refer back to. Now within a half a dozen shots, you know, back to perfect. Sitting into that lead knee is everything for me, guys. Once I get out of that lead knee, I get this going. Well, I don't get that very often, but that's a disaster for me. I just hit a couple of drivers. That wind is so strong. That five iron was going about, you know, they went about 145 metres. Unbelievable. And I was hitting those good. This driver would probably go 200. That's really strong, that wind. But watch this, guys. I really, th really want to back into it here. So I'm still here, look still there now I do that I mean that's a, that's an overdo but I do that to sort of get back to to keeping those shoulders closed it's another 40 inch driver I made up different weights different flexes Different size head. Head's only a uh, it's only a uh, about a 370 head. Very compact. Wow! See that, guys? The hands are out here. That's just, look at this, look. Okay, that's up a little bit, but I'm buttressed against that. You can have that trail foot up a little bit after impact, as long as your lead knee is still buttressing. That's a great shot into the wind. What's it feel like? Just feels like I'm here. That's what, that's what I feel like. Lead shoulder closed to the hit. That's probably the best way to explain it. Lead shoulder close to the hit. Here's my... Thought that's one of the students. Not Okay, watch this guys, watch this. We're really back into this. Look at this. Club still in front of me. I 
mean, that, that drives into the wind don't move. I mean, they just don't move. Look at this here, look. That's how I want to feel. The arms are just firing away from a from just a just a closed body structure. That's all it is, guys. The arms are just whipping away from this all being shut down. That's all it is. Now I've got not much follow through on that because I'm trying to really keep those shoulders closed. Really strong wind. Really, <laughs> look how close my shoulders are. And look how straight that shot is, wow. Okay now, I, I'm closed down and in general channel lock, I'm shut down, I've got a lot of pre-turn in my shoulders. Bill Phillips from MMI, he doesn't go down that road. He plays basically, he's almost basically playing just a square shoulder line with the back ball position and, and swinging in the channel. Now he can do that because he hits it great. But for me, I just like to get into the channel a lot deeper. And having the shoulder shut down helps me do that. So, so Bill basically plays from this here, maybe a little bit closed. He can still get in the channel. But I like to really shut the, shut the shoulder down and keep it there like that. See that's just that little push push draw. Now that suits me because it just gets me turning in a trail side better. I've got a lot of shutdown, look. And guys, I've got to tell you, when I actually feel like that, that's when I hit it best. For me. We all feel differently, but for me, the more closure I can get at address, the better I hit it. The more pre-turn, the better I hit it. I mean, they're just bullets. And you know with that pre-turn, you're going to be into out significantly at impact so you're not going to be, uh, your miss is going to be a little push. The wind is left to right, head wind here, and that ball is just drawing back into the wind. I love this 390 head, guys. Wow. It's actually got 330 written on the bottom. Couldn't be 330. Beautiful head. It's not a brand, it's a prototype. Old prototype. Okay, watch how closed down I am. See, I'm finishing here, guys. Look. Hit some shots and cultivate that. How do I get that? I've got a lot of pull on the lead hand doing that. A lot of pull. A lot of pull there. Just hit some shots doing that. If you're coming over the ball, or you're hitting it a bit thin, feel that in the swing. Play this way back. See, I pull my trail foot back, I'm in, I'm in a closed stance big time. Look at this guys, look. And I'm feeling like the hands are slowing down coming into the ball. But see how I'm not getting, not getting a lot of wrap over at the end of the swing, I'm not getting this, because my shoulders are really closed. Beautiful flight. I feel like I'm going to hit it 40 yards right, but I don't, I just hit a little, you know, three, four, five yard draw. Real strong power draw. Get that shot here. See, this still stays out here, guys. That's what I call a post-impact sort of chicken wing brace. There's no wrap-over. 
conventional golf swing we've got this wrap over, I just hit a conventional shot we've got the, the arm wrap over in a conventional golf swing got this here, look see where the club fi finishes here now that's a strong shot but it feels it feels like there's always a potential to hit it left if I hit probably 10 of those I'd hit one of them left, I know that I drag it can't do that with channel lock and see how the arm's finished here, I don't want that I want the arm finishing here ok smash it Jade Look at this guy, look. And see that's that lead knee's bent. You know what I think? <laughs> I, th I think that the size of a driver should be this size. If this is 330cc, this is the size it should be. The feedback through the head of this guy is so different to a normal golf club. Fantastic. Now this is ultra stiff. It's a 9 degrees. and it's uh, <laughs> I mean here's a bargain barrel, this was in the bargain barrel over there and, and we don't even, one of the golf shops closed down and the guy here bought all the the shop's old stuff and this was, was sitting in there and I thought wow that's a great head, never seen it before so we just pulled it out, cut it down stuck a grip on it and here it is ok one of my students is coming ok guys last shot, so watch this, watch this last shot's the best shot, look at that ok guys so yeah I was letting my, my shoulders not be as close as they needed to be and I was losing that flex out of the lead knee and I was getting a little bit of a thin shot went back through the protocol, picked it up straight away ok guys that's the benefit of uh, going having a protocol and a downswing protocol work out a downswing protocol so you get the feeling of what it is on the downswing as soon as I went in the downswing I thought oh I haven't got that lat close feel ok guys that's called diagnosing